Alright guys, so this is part 3 of my Asus Sabertooth P67 review and it's just simply a look at the BIOS. Now this BIOS is almost identical to the BIOS of the P8 P67 Evo um, that I had and I actually have another video of that BIOS too um, and it's basically the same but I have promised that I would do um, part 3 of my Sabertooth P67 review and I did promise that it would be a look at the BIOS so here goes, there is some minor differences um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to point those out for you if I remember rightly. So this is the easy mode um, of the BIOS um, obviously this is the new EFI BIOS with mouse support it's even got scroll support um, and a GUI so it's a very nice looking BIOS so just very simplistic options here you've got boot priority and uh, some EPU profiles um, so I'm not going to go too much into everything because I don't want this video to be too long so we're just moving into advanced mode here so this is just the normal information page we've just got BIOS and CPU and memory information and also got security options here language so you can put a password on the BIOS AI tweaker this is the best part so I'm just going to put this on auto which it would normally be by default um, so you've got an excellent explanation up here in the top right hand corner for each thing that's the good thing about the new EFI BIOS most of the time there's a good explanation it's certainly better than the old um, BIOS's so um, I'll just go through each of these options and I'll just click I won't explain anything um, I just want you to see what this BIOS can do I just hope you can see it properly so that went up to 2400 megahertz uh, the OC tuner there that's a um, automatic overclocking if you enable that it takes you into well basically um, the board runs a series of overclocking tests and it finds its maximum overclock um, automated overclocking you can certainly get a lot better results out of doing it manually so, so this is the memory area memory timing area. Um, CPU power management area Uh, I'll just show you what the CPU ratio goes up to whoa <laughs> uh, actually yeah once you key it in I'm not sure what the maximum is that you can key in I won't waste my time with that sorry about that okay moving on um, so digi VRM settings I'm just going to use the keyboard, it's a little bit quicker. So when you go manual you can key in any number up to 500. Up to 140% on that one. So CPU offset on manual. Once you've set manual you can key in the voltage. 
so advanced this is just pretty standard um, few more settings there for the new Sandy Bridge platform probably a bit more information there on the CPU than there used to be now this is good this is all your SATA ports it tells you the color as well as the number of the port so check out the left hand side SATA 6G 1 brown says my CD drives plugged into it SATA 6G2 brown says my hard drives plugged into it then it's got black black uh, very very cool USB config onboard device config monitor this is probably the only difference um, uh, for the Sabertooth over the P8 P67 Evo and I mean if, if the Sabertooth and the P8 P67 Evo biases are the same then obviously um, that whole probably the whole Asus P67 BIOS, they're all the same except for the ROG series boards, the Maximus 4 um, is obviously different so yeah the only difference in here is the assist fan there's your fan speed profiles um, yeah other than that I don't really know so this is cool, you can choose what um, BIOS you go into when you hit delete, whether you go into easy mode or advanced mode. Um, yeah, if you know, if anyone knows of any other differences in the BIOS, um, put it in the comments, because yeah, I can't really find anything, not that it really matters I guess. So the EZ flash utility, flashing the BIOS, OC profile, you've got 8 profile slots. SPD information, this is very handy. All the information on your memory. Very, very cool. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's all you really need to know about the BIOS. Uh, and that concludes my Asus Sabertooth P67 review. Thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope I covered everything you wanted to know about the motherboard. If there is anything more you want to know, yeah just ask the questions in the comments um, and I'll try and answer them if I can, if I have time. Uh, and if they're good enough questions, I might even make a further video to answer them. Uh, in the future, I will also be testing a the assist fan on the board, which is the um, this little extra optional fan that you can put on the board um, that blows more cool air underneath the. So it just goes there where you can see those screws. And it, yeah, bl blows more air under the thermal armor and keeps the board a bit more cool because I am having trouble with the board getting quite hot when I'm overclocking. I mean I am pushing it to the max and I have been using water cooling so um, you know the, the motherboard's not getting a lot of airflow. At the moment I'm just testing the NHD14 that's why that's there and not my normal water cooling. Anyway guys I better wrap it up. Thanks for watching.